work around the problem of not receiving a copy of emails in Gmail which you send to yourself or to groups which you are a member of. Gmail has a feature which is both useful but also really annoying. Gmail is just about the only mail server which follows the RFC for SMTP correctly and will discard duplicate emails based on the SMTP ID. Where this is good is where you are in a couple of groups or mailing lists, both of which are sent the same email. You only see one copy. Also, when you use Conversation Review, you never end up having two copies of your email. However, it's really annoying. It does not match real people's expectations of workflow. I'll give you an example. Let's say there's an important announcement you need to email out to one of your groups. So you mail it out, and then, well, we've no idea if anyone actually received it. Not good. Here, here's an example. So I've got to email a group which I'm a member of, so I would naturally expect to get a copy of this email. As you can see, the email hasn't arrived. It is in my sent, but it's not in my inbox, like I would expect. Another scenario is you CC yourself in an email or send yourself an email to remind yourself to do something. The email may well never appear in your inbox. If you've not seen this problem, then, you're pro then you are probably using a single domain with a single email address for your account, in which case the problem won't occur. But here it is, here's the problem. Again, the email is not in my inbox. It's in my sent, but it's not where I would expect it in my inbox. There are solutions or workarounds to these problems, however. First, let's look at the emailing oneself problem. Workaround zero. Simply make sure you email yourself with the same to and from address. This address can receive for Daniel at and Daniel .baron at. When I send, I'm sending as Daniel .baron at, and the email that disappeared was to Daniel at. So, all you need to do here is make sure you send the to and the from as the same. So. Obviously, my default address is daniel.baron, so I'm going to send it to daniel.baron and I will actually receive it this time. And there it is, as you would expect in your inbox. Workaround number one. You can set up filters so that emails you send from yourself to yourself get the inbox label applied. To do this, create a filter, put in all of the addresses that you might be sending email from. Bear in mind you perhaps you're using a Blackberry, iPhone, Android, Outlook, a Thunderbird or something else, so it's not necessarily going to be in Gmail itself. Uh, so you need to type in here all the addresses you'll be sending from and all the addresses you, you might be sending to. And separate them with a capital boolean or. Copy into the two, two field as well. Click next. And then you can tick the never send to spam option. What that actually means is label it as inbox. One way of understanding this option is to think of it as sending it to inbox. Now click create filter and let's test this. So previously you saw when I sent an email to Daniel 
it didn't appear in my inbox. There it is in the inbox, however it's marked as red. The reason it's marked as red is because it's one and the same email as the one you sent and the one you've received. There's a better way to do this with Workaround 2. First I'm just going to get rid of the filter. So, Workaround 2. You can add to Gmail the email accounts which you are e able to receive email for. To do this, click on Settings, Accounts, add another email address you own, click Next, Next, Send Verification. You can either copy and paste the verification code into there, I'm going to close the window, go to my inbox, refresh, there it is, click here, which will verify that I'm able to receive email for that email address. So now you'll notice when sending an email I've got a drop down I can send from either of my two email addresses that I'm able to receive email for. This is actually quite handy because the, this setting here propagates to things like Outlook. So adding a second email address in Gmail allows you to send from a second email address in Gmail and Outlook. A good use case of that would be if you were sending emails to customers in the UK and the US. You could send from your .co.uk email address to the customers in the UK or send from your .com address to your customers in the USA. And automatically Outlook would reply with, with the correct email address. So I'm going to show you here that this now works. I'm sending from Daniel.baron, which is the address I was sending from earlier. I'm going to send it to Daniel, which is the address earlier, which didn't work until we added the filters, but we've removed the filters now. Uh, so, what I'm expecting is for this to appear in the inbox, but also to appear as unread. And there it is, in the inbox, unread, exactly like someone would actually expect it to work. Now the other problem. Getting a copy of an email which you sent to a group of which you are a member. Workaround A. The workaround is quite simple really. Add yourself to the CC. Although this is not a very good workaround, it does show that the email left your email client and came back in, but it does not prove the group is working. There is a better workaround that the sysadmin of the domain can do, but this is more complex and will be described in a different video. There we are. I've got a copy of the email that I sent to the group. There is a workaround B. You can add the group as an account you receive email for. Just add it like you would as if it was a normal email address.
However, I don't recommend this method because everybody in the entire group will have just got this notification email. So it's very messy, it's a bit rubbish, but it does work. And you see it adds the email address of the group to the one of the addresses that you're able to send from. So it's quite messy. There you can see it works. But as I said, I really don't recommend work around people.